Let's do a quick Wisconsin abuse update. If you've been following me, you'll know that there was a recently married couple. Um, the husband was physically abusing his wife. She called the law and um, now he's going through all the court stuff. And as you know, I asked you guys for help, support, financially, physically at the courthouse at one of his court dates. And some of you guys showed up, which was awesome. Thank you guys so much for that. I wish I would have gotten to know you guys better. Here's where that case stands. When we were there, was it, it was July 5th, I believe. Um, once again, the Amish packed the courthouse with his supporters. Um, she was not there. She didn't have to be there. Um, but yes, they packed the courthouse with his supporters in hopes to get support for him to get him a lighter sentence, obviously. In the meantime, because her family called the law and got the law involved, her family and friends were being shunned. At that point, it was already at 20 plus weeks of shunning. The abuser happens to be a bishop's son. Some people say well, that has nothing to do with it. Unfortunately, in some cases it does. And they were trying to get her to drop the charges, saying that if she drops the charges, that they will lift the shunning, shunning from her family, her parents and all her family and friends that supported her. Uh, that is uh, definitely an ab uh, abuse of power. Matter of fact, I can't remember the term for it right now, but that is very illegal as well to um, manipulate somebody like that. When we were there in Wisconsin on July 5th, um, she was thinking about dropping the charges. There was talk that she was gonna do it um, just to keep her friends and family from being shunned. Um, I can imagine, I can only imagine that pressure, you know, here it's not her friends and family's fault yet they're getting punished. When we were there, they did pack that courthouse to get him a lighter sentence. Um, it's quite a, the room was filled with Amish people and us. I finally, I put myself in the shoes of the women. You know, I, I heard about Mary Byler's case. There's Lizzie Hirschberger's case um, and others that they finally, after being sexually abused for year after year after year. They finally got the law involved and and when it came time to sentence their abusers, they sat in that courtroom by themselves. In Mary's case, they shipped in four busloads of Amish people. She sat there alone while her friends and family in the Amish community sat there and cried for her abuser. I can't I can't imagine I can't imagine the 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 feelings of that, you know, and, and the, the questioning, well, am I doing the right thing? You know, here are all these people that are against me that I grew up with, that I called mom and dad, that I played with, that I, that I, yeah, just were the only people in my life. And now I sit alone against them all. I, I can't, like, it, it just anger rises within me that Amish people are doing this. And it, and it, in the case with this, husband abusing his wife, physically abusing his wife and making her go through this angers me. Why would you put your wife through that? You, you, why would you abuse her to begin with? But then even if you know you're in the wrong, why would you put your poor wife through that? Sitting there by herself, fighting by herself. Um, that it's not Christian in any way yet these people call themselves christians so now thankfully she did not drop the charges i don't know why she changed her mind but i can't help but think it had something to do with the prayers and the support she was getting um thank you guys so much for helping out in that area keep praying for her that she stays strong stands her ground keep praying for her family um, and pray for him Pray that he has, he overcomes this abusive behavior that he has. I don't know that we can overcome things like that by ourselves, apart from Christ. Um, I'm kind of, I almost think we have to be saved. We have to be born again before we can overcome abuse, alcoholism, stuff like that. 
I'm not an expert in that field. I don't know. And the two of them, the husband and wife, I don't know uh, where they're at as far as are they going to try to work things out after this is all over? I don't know. Just pray for that situation as well, um, that God's guidance and hand is on that and their decisions as far as their marriage. I, I believe he goes back into court October, November. Um, it's going into a jury trial. I will try to keep you guys updated on that. Maybe some of you guys can show up. Uh, it's probably going to be a work day for me, but if not, I will go again. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. That was huge. Let's do some more. I'm CJ. This is the Amish Potato. We will see you next time.